Happy Saturday, Print Fam. About three o'clock in the afternoon. Got soccer done, and uh, my grandpa passed away a few months ago, or a month ago, or I don't even remember when, but all of his children went through the house and auctioned off and picked and did whatnot, and so they picked things, and now the grandkids could come over and pick a few things. So we picked a few things. We recently got a camper trailer in hopes that we could go camping a little bit more once I quit my job. And so we picked just some pillows and blankets and a few other knickknacks that he had. Um, Bob is gonna come over in a little bit. We need to print some vinyl for him. And I need to just kind of check over my list. I don't think I have anything super urgent to produce, but I'm mostly anxious about getting the samples from the Konica. I emailed the guy saying, hey, what time can we meet today? And I haven't heard from him. So I'll probably um, text the salesman because the guy that I'm meeting is um, kind of the guy over the fiery. So hopefully I can meet up with him and we can get those samples to compare. I've got the other sample right here on my desk. Again, this is the bad one with the yellow streaking and whatnot. So hopefully the sample that we're getting is going to be good. Um, I did do some testing. These are um, white toner heat transfers. So rather than doing HTV, you use basically a Oki has a, a version. There's a, what's the other name? There's another company that does it, but it's basically the Oki engine. But in short, you print on this special paper that's an A, and then you marry a B paper, which is the adhesive, and then you apply this to a shirt. Um, so testing those out, they work pretty well. I might look at buying one of those printers, but again, it's all down to the money. Uh, right now, I'm also working on getting today's YouTube video. The YouTube video released. I also had to fix. I donate a website to the high school. And the reason I do that is it helps me get in front of the high school. And tonight is their homecoming. And I have it set up with a plug in so that certain things automatically expire so they can set kind of due dates. And the homecoming ticket purchase expired already, even though the dance is in like three and a half hours and go figure teenagers are buying tickets a couple hours before the dance so not a ton going on but i will check in i will check in shortly all right guys i just got my new banner material on there it's called ultraflex so it's 165 yard roll which I don't like getting that big of rolls because they're really heavy. Um, you can see I still have the tape on it. I would just turn the printer on to get the profile because I thought I was buying media that had a certified profile, but it does not. So hopefully this will turn out all right. I'm a little worried, especially because I have a wholesale order that I have to have done for Monday. Um, it definitely feels better than the Grimco Brightline banner material and it's reverse wound, meaning it's the opposite direction, so it feeds in over the top rather than from the backside. And that's how the key banner that I used to use was, so that's nothing abnormal. Let me turn around the screen here and I'll show you what I'm printing and kind of how I laid it out. So this is a banner that I need to print. It's a three by five banner. You can see here, maybe in the corners, I've got just some trim marks and then grommets placed. And the way you do that in Flexi is you load the job directly into Flexi rather than going through, I should say you load it directly into the production matter manager rather than going into Flexi. And you go here to job properties and it pulls up 
this window here and this is where you can set that you want it to be centered you can modify the job size you can modify the spacing but the first thing I do is I go to labels and marks and I make sure that it's just the margin so what that does is just a little corner notch right here on every side so I can easily put it on the cutter and then you come here to the grommet section and it It'll help you with fold and bleed, and I haven't had time to play with that. I should, because I do have some banner tape that I'd like to start offering folded banners. But you could specify grommets by number or by distance. So I just have it set at two and two, because this customer just wants them one in each corner. So that is super nice and super easy. And so now all I have to do, I didn't change anything, so I'm just going to click cancel. Now I just need to get the material loaded. Once the material is loaded, I'll actually come back in here and I'll change the profile, which I can actually do now. Um, according to just a tiny bit of research on the internet, they're saying to run it as just generic PVC banner. So looking up online, it's a profile that's already put in the printer. They said do generic PVC banner at 10 pass. So doing that will actually get it all set. So now I'm going to get the banner material loaded and we're going to send it to print. Hopefully it turns out all right. A lot of times I'll also pre-rip these so you can right click. Let's bring it up here so you can see it. You can right click and rip. And what this does is it does all the processing to generate the printable file. So it makes it a lot easier on the, the computer because you're not ripping and printing at the same time. You pre-rip it, you can pre-rip a bunch of jobs, send them to print, and that way it's ready to go. So I'm gonna get the media fully loaded and then we'll get this printed. So as you can see, this banner is completely yellow and I bought a new cartridge of yellow because I was running low. Uh, the job is now done printing and it cost me about $5 in ink. And as far as the usage, yellow was 3.2 milliliters. So if I look at my supply or my usage, I still have about 23 milliliters left of my 775 milliliter cartridge. So I kind of want to see if I can hot swap the cartridge when it comes time. But um, like of everything, yellow is the first cartridge that I'm going to be out of. It's got 23 milliliters left according to the machine. And then black has 101 milliliters. The next closest to that is my magenta at 151. So. I don't print very often. I wish I printed more. Maybe when I go full time I will, but for me, it's not bad. So this is a good little job. It is a wholesale job. Still some good margin in it, but hopefully they'll start giving me more banners to make it worth it. My hope is that one day I will have a machine dedicated to banner, dedicated to self-adhesive vinyl. So, okay, let's get back on with the day. All right, print fam, I got my banner all printed as you saw when I talked about it. Um, I'm gonna get it cut here in a little bit, but Bob came back and we're printing the same vinyl. We printed a bunch of different squares because they were unhappy with their colors. So we took Pantone color swatches and made them and printed them and they picked this one. So now we're printing an Etsy order for me and a for me. Yeah, vial for Bob to go on some truck doors. So we'll show you some of that. And Bob, are you gonna cut banners for me today? Bob still won't cut banners for me. Like, he always asks me, how can I help you, Darren? And I did the one time. Sometimes he helps me, but then other times he's just like, screw you, Darren. So I, I, length on this? Bob, what the frick, dude? I'm out here every day on the grind editing these videos, and you refuse to cut a simple, simple banner for Darren. 
Shame on you, Bob. Shame on you, honestly. So we're printing some vinyl. I'm almost out of my roll, so according to my notes, it's empty, but there's still like, we calculated it to have about six feet left. So should be good. We're gonna get his stuff printed, my order printed, and I have to do some hats. So I got the embroidery machine on. I'll show you hooping some hats and running them. Anything else you need to do, Bob? I got a weed today. So I get to weed. Bob's gonna do weed, ink, yes. weeding. Mm -hmm. And I need to order a business card. Oh, they brought the samples. So I'll go over that in a little bit. I need a quote as well for some oh. business cards. Bob needs quotes. So right now we're outsourcing everything until we can figure out the printer situation. So, yes. Okay, check in in a bit. You guys want to learn how to tape? I cut these before I taped them, and I shouldn't have. Rule number one, Darren told me, don't cut till after you tape. The problem was, is I was in a hurry because Bob was here, and Bob was working, and... Bob had his monster, woo! Bob drank his monster. Not sponsored, but do love them. I'm sure Bob will not mind. Oh, if we had a monster sponsorship, that would be phenomenal. I would love a monster sponsorship. <laughs> monster brand is good too. Alright, everyone who watches this video, tweet at Red Bull and let them know to sponsor Darren so I can get some more Red Bull, please. If you also want to tweet at Monster for Bob, that's okay too, but Red Bull, get them on this, please. usually lay so the sticky side is up and then what I do is I flip it over trying not to bunch up the and sticky I, side I kind of arch it and I start from the center and down and then start from the center go out center Boom! And you pull it up and cut them and put them in the mail. Just like that. Rip print fan. Got the grommet machine out. Putting grommets in. These are some grommets that I ordered on Amazon that I was a little worried about because they're different. This type, this part, so the grommet itself was fine, but the washer is different. The washers I had before were flat versus these have kind of a little valley or rivets. I don't even know what to call it. But it's got a groove section in here. But they work great. So I'll link those down below. Um, this was like a cheap 20, 30, or $40 grommet thing and it came with a couple thousand of these. So I've had it for quite a while and just barely had to replace it. So these are the banners that I printed the other day. So I've got seven of them grommeted just in the corners and then got three more to go. Got to run inside, help the wife with the kids for a minute and then run to the grocery store for her. So check in probably after the grocery store. All right guys, got back from the grocery store, checked over my list and decided I didn't want to do anything else. The only thing I really could do is prep a screen print order to send off to my outsourced supplier, but it's not gonna really make a difference if I don't get it done until Monday. So that's what I'm gonna do. So hope you guys had a great week. Thanks for following along with the journey. Hopefully this video was a little more fun with some production stuff in it. 
hopefully we can get some more as the days go by. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please, please do so. Thanks Cam for editing the videos. Appreciate you. And if you want to support the channel in any way, you can use the Amazon affiliate link. That's probably the easiest way. Um, anything you buy on Amazon, um, your price stays the same, but a small commission comes back to support the channel. You can also buy two o'clock club stickers, buy some awesome shirts from Cam's merch store, merch store, all that stuff is linked down below in the description. I did not meet my goal, but life goes on. Thanks for watching. Have a good week. See ya.